ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, friends of Marshall McLuhan on the internet. The place of the concept globalization was announced by the McLuhan Syntag Global Village. Global Village has now become a slogan which implies media network connection and mutual dependence of all parts of the world, all politics and principles of existence. The fact is, there is no global process without such global networking, without such networking causing immediate effect, where everybody is getting informed about procedures and events. Wherever we are, here and now, we must have the possibility to be the center and periphery at the same time, present everywhere and absent as well. Now this is what I call the global village. You no longer have to be anywhere in order to do everything. The same information is available at the same moment from every part of the world. The world is now like a continually sounding tribal drum, where everybody gets the message all the time. A princess gets married in England, and boom, boom, boom go the drums. We all hear about it. An earthquake in North Africa, a Hollywood star gets drunk, away go the drums again. When dealing with the issue of the globalization of culture, there is an underlying question of the mediator who enables globalization, the media in the wider sense, the way that Marshall McLuhan understood it. This is why the conversation about the globalization of culture should primarily be conducted by considering the consequences of the development and the influence of the mass media, as well as the consequences of insufficient consideration of the influence of the media on experience, opinions, and the experience of the world of contemporary men as the media consumer. At the same time, with the occurrence of globalization, underneath is surface another, at first glance, opposite process of automation, multiplication, attrition is occurring, the process which is compatible with the idea which implement globalization. Everything has become art, nothing is art anymore. Art has become nothing, we live in a meager world surrounded by art nothingness. Everything has become news, nothing is news anymore, news has stopped being news. We live in a world in which only local and global catastrophes can be something like news. In this work, globalization is perceived as the result of the medialization of the world. The work claims the seeking information about globalization is not possible without the basic gathering of information about the globalization of media and the consequences of that process. The media are at the heart of our life because the media work through our senses. And print is a medium. Uh, it changed our sense makeup from what it had been in the Middle Ages. And now certainly these other media will do the same. When saying that media is the message, McLuhan knew messages are the product of relations, influence of new techniques, and media are making crucial and even global changes. The philosophy of media considers dependence of a culture on technologies and media mediators. Philosophical criticism on media and the world being manipulated by propaganda is at the same time self-criticism of self-caused unconscious. 
the philosophy of media is not only opinion about media, criticism of media, nor de developing consciousness about the problems with the contemporary media. The questions of mediation in the aspect of objects, senses, experience, meaning, contemplation, has always been the questions of all questions of philosophy as such. My questions today, is Global Village something like the announcement of the mankind future? The world will become a global village because we will know everything about everybody. And that will happen in one moment, if we want to. Some of us already practice that to the great extent. The more important reason why we are going to become a global village is connected to McLuhan's understanding of civilization and how is civilization related to the tribal world. Every extension leaves a trace on our body. Bowling ball will strengthen leg muscles. It is often the questions about the changes of more organs. McLuhan considered that letters, writing, and especially printing techniques cause civilization changes in a human brain. Today, contemporary brain researches partly confirm the accuracy of this conclusion. We will become global village, not because the poor immigrants from the East, like me, will stray giving lectures, and not because the transfer of technology to the third world countries for the bigger profit will bring them great prosperity. We will become global village because after 2,500 years, we have become conscious of neglecting activities that activate the right side of the brain. People who are subjected to the arrangement of language visually in lines, uh, highly sequential and precise, rigid, develop habits of arranging their lives, arranging their whole social existence, which are very closely geared to these forms. They're not specially aware of this. The civilized world is the society of literacy, visual experience of environment, of Euclid's geometry, society of sequence, linear thinking, logic, observation of relation between central and peripheral. Civilized society is a society that developed very much left brain hemisphere. From the geographical point of view, it could be compared to what we call the West. In the relation between East and West, there is no winner. In other words, every victory is temporary. We will become global village because we become free for a polycentric experience, auditive and tactile accepting of the world, simultaneity and synchronicity. We are getting free from the linearity of Gutenberg, assembly lines, hierarchy and nomenclatures, slowly but definitely. The first indicator of turning towards a global village were, such as McLuhan, the children of flowers, the hippies, generation that appeared quarter of a century after the publication of McLuhan's book, the bestseller, Understanding Media. And so on, and so on. McLuhan's book suggested that the electricity will start to free us from the linear pattern of the mechanic age. New generation of young people insisted on this sensitivity. We are globally networked. We can hear and see. Sometimes we go forward and look back like a jellyfish. We look back into the rearview mirror. Living in the past, we reduce the pain caused by, uh, by the demands of new technologies. Instead of using media as liberating technical support with multidimensional insight, we use computers as writing machines from the 19th century. Some not even do that. Each new technique develops a new hypnotic seduction. Every new technology asks for a new war. Advertising is a vast military operation, openly and brashly intended to conquer the human spirit. The advertiser is a manipulator, yes. He uh, plays around with human beings as his private pigment. He smears us. Students and historians of the future will uh, pour over our advertising world with the sort of intensity with which we should long ago have directed to it. New technologies put our nervous system outside, around ourselves. The body has to get used every time a new technology appears and that is painful. 
Benjamin and McLuhan agreed that the art reduces the shock new technologies bring about. The conclusion might be scary that there is art only because we are the slaves of our technologies, extensions, being partly hypnotized by them, shot, made instruments, and we need the depth and beauty of sensibility, sensitivity, which we can find in art. The contemporary civilization of literacy has fragmented our knowledge, abilities, work of, works of art, feelings, brain. Heading towards the global village, there appear image contours of the coherence projected at the same time from the both brain hemispheres. The Kingdom of Science of Roland Barthes and many other books and authors confirmed the basic difference between the polycentric habits of the East eating, packing, leading, and the principal center periphery in the Western culture. The force of the front line must give place to the network of lines of our different senses and concept of experiencing and creating the world. The point from which we observe point of view is highly important to the civilization that based on the visual approach of Euclid's literacy. Electronics multiplies these points, giving the impressive, impressionistically, pointillistically rich palettes of point. Although we are all going to say sometimes so right that we already live in a global village, according to Marshall McLuhan, we are, in fact, just approaching it. From the control checkpoints, we are always pushed back. Our duties, financial uh, affairs, plans, our projections of happiness to the end of bed, which in fact never ends and the direction always leads to infinity, bad infinity. According to Marshall McLuhan, thesis, global village lies right inside ourselves. In our liberation from success, career, text, position, to know. When Nikola Tesla walks explaining to his potential financiers that the discovered alternating current, they asked his astonished, and what will happen to the infrastructure of direct current that has been already placed? Tesla gave a shocking answer, it will be replaced. McLuhan is in the similar position. He draws a parallel between literacy, technique, organization of society, and human senses. He is in the position to say, it's time for the alternating hemispheres. Thank you very much. Thank you.